Kyrgyzstan is a land of adventure, nature, hiking, skiing, it's, it's amazing landscape in every direction. It's very hard to pick top 10 spots for Kyrgyzstan, but here are my top 10 and they're not in any particular order. So you get to see a mix of culture, adventure, beautiful landscape and everything in between. Let's explore my top 10. If you have not seen my Kyrgyzstan travel guide, I would definitely recommend you check that before continuing with this video because there's tons of information there that's really, really important and you should know that before you actually start planning your visit to this country. So check that out and let me continue with the video. Jet Yogurz or the Seven Bulls is located close to Risikul Lake and it's a very interesting spot. It's quite famous. There's a local legend or a story attached to this place, which is around two kings. Um, the elder one has a beautiful wife. The younger one kidnaps her, slits her throat. And that's how this whole place became so red. And the seven bulls come from the seven bulls that were slaughtered before the war. If that's your thing, there are some hot springs in the village if you want to chill a bit more in seven bulls. Isikol is the biggest lake in Kyrgyzstan and it is a saline lake which means it never freezes even in winter. Whether you are into water sports, kayaking, jet skiing or you just want to have an adrenaline rush with paragliding, whether you want to go hiking or you just want to party, there is so much that Isikol offers. My personal activity that's been my favorite was the beach. And for that, I would definitely recommend Kajisai with its beautiful beaches that I pretty much got to myself for entire days are in. Kegati Gorge is one of my absolute favorite spots when it comes to hiking because you get to a very beautiful alpine lake at the end of this six and a half, seven kilometer hike. It was also my first time staying in a yurt, which was quite exciting. And the sound of that beautiful stream nearby just made everything perfect. Look at the color of that lake. Koltor is a very beautiful lake with absolutely pristine water. It does get a bit cold up there and the weather can change fairly quickly. So make sure you're well prepared and do bring some food with you. But the views are just absolutely stunning. This place is staggeringly beautiful. Kaska Canyon or the Fairy Tale Canyon is another wonderful place right next to Isakul Lake. The deep red crimson color of the canyons with the backdrop of blue Isakul Lake is absolutely breathtaking. I just wandered around for what felt like ages and don't forget there is a little Chinese wall in the middle which is quite interesting and it will be a challenge to spot that. Some people also say that the canyon, the rocks, make the shapes of different animals although I couldn't spot it. Maybe you're better at it than me. While Kegati is all green in nature, Konorchek is completely different and this is absolutely rugged with a completely different landscape and they are not too far from each other. 
Getting to the Kanorcha Canyon is actually quite easy. The hike is quite simple, although some places it, you have to go up, but it's generally quite an easy hike. And eventually when you get to the place, the canyon, you see these beautiful mountains. It almost feels like you're on a different planet altogether. I really enjoyed doing it in the afternoon because I could see the sun and the mountain changing its color from red to golden to deep red. Absolutely amazing. Just wonderful and wow. Just make sure not to forget to bring some water with you. Songkul is another alpine lake, but this one is completely different from Koltor or Alakul or Isikul even. The landscape is completely different. It's a bit like steppe when you go to Patagonia. It is rugged mountains, there's no trees or even shrubbery. The environment is as if you're on a different planet altogether. There is no internet, there's no phone reception, and the only place you can stay here is a youth camp. So definitely, definitely book one and arrive and you will have the best time, but it does get very cold in the evenings, even in summer. Another fun thing that you cannot miss is doing horse riding here. It is absolutely spectacular. Whether you are going to Bishkek or to Osh or to Karakul, you definitely need to visit at least one bazaar in Kyrgyzstan. They are very lively, they're really fun and there's so much on sale here. It's a great place to watch people, to see how they interact because this is not just a buying and selling activity for Kyrgyz people, it's a social event. Some of the best local food that I tried was in these bazaars. In Ektelek Bazaar, there's a alley for Ashlam Fu. In Osh Bazaar in Bishkek, there was a very good restaurant that served really, really yummy mamtu and some other great food. It was amazing. The best way to explore these bazaars is to just get lost in them. Kyrgyzstan is a former Silk Road country and remnants of that can be found around, especially the Burana Tower. There's an interesting legend attached to this tower. If you are interested, you can watch my Kyrgyzstan Legends video. But it was actually developed as a watchtower for the surrounding city. The tower is located close to the city of Tokmok and it can easily be visited when you are going from Bishkek all the way to Karakol or anywhere around Isikul Lake. Altin Arashan means Golden Springs and it is one of the most beautiful valleys I've ever seen in my life. The road is really bad, so you have to get a local jeep or you can go there by a full day's hike, which is really, really beautiful. Welcome to Kyrgyzstan! There are some yurt camps there, which are amazing if you want to get some food or if you want to stay there to move on to the next stop, which is Alakul Lake. But generally, just spending a day there was mind-blowing, absolutely mind-blowing. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better, I found out that there are hot springs in Altin Arashan, which is why the name. So we went there and I had the time of my life. It was just so surreal and beautiful. It was such a shame that I couldn't visit Alakul Lake, which is another beautiful alpine lake, but it is a hard hike that takes a full day. So from Karakol, it takes roughly three days to go and then come back. 
The lake is considered special because it changes color based on the season and the time of the day. To let you on a little secret, you can do this by hiring horses that take you four hours on the way up. You still have to do one hour's hike and then you can come back by horses. But shh, don't tell anyone. This is the Ala Archa National Gorge. It's an amazing place to do some hiking, especially if you are coming to Bishkek. And if you're not doing anything else, you should definitely come here and do some hiking. But do come prepared. You need some sturdy shoes because when it rains, it's quite slippery. So about the park, it's really gorgeous. So the mountains are part of the Tension Mountains that lead all the way to China. And the name of the national park, Ala Archa, means the multicolored and archa is juniper trees so as you can see around me it's really multicolored and they have tons of juniper trees so that's the reason behind the name so if you're going all the way up it will take you about four to five hours of hiking but if you're going for something easy there are three stops before that so i hiked all the way to stop number three up to the waterfall it rained it snowed and it was cloudy but then it opened up and it's absolutely gorgeous i absolutely do not regret getting wet getting all this way here so if you come here do come prepared. There's no public transport that comes all the way here, so you'll need to get a taxi, which will cost about $20, $25, something like that. But I would recommend coming here with a hike so you can actually enjoy it, get some information as well. There's no restaurants or cafes here, so do bring some lunch with you. There's only one restaurant, but um, food is not guaranteed all the time. So just like I did, bring some food with you. Like I said before, it is very hard to get a list of 10 beautiful places in Kyrgyzstan. The whole country is just absolutely stunning. But these are my 10 favorite places in Kyrgyzstan. This is Brown Boy Travels and I hope you really liked this video. If you did, please do like, subscribe and comment and let me know some amazing destinations in your country. I would love to come. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, you have an amazing day ahead. Mwah.